midnight, where the vibe is about to take a turn. Blair is in the lead with 4,100 points. <laughs> If there's one thing that can bring this country together, it's our shared love of fails. <laughs> but the sad fact is that many of these videos are the most embarrassing moments of real people's lives. One man's epic fail is another man's epic source of trauma or reason why therapy is three times a week. <laughs> these people have had it hard enough, so we're going to spread some positivity with our next game on the bright side. <laughs> Panelists, I'm going to show you a video of something awful happening to someone. And for 500 points each, I want you to buzz in with as many positive takeaways that you can. Keep in mind, this is our elimination round, and the person with the lowest score at the end of this game will be eliminated. So, no pressure. Wonder who it's gonna be. It's not so funny now, is it? No, I'm wondering who it's gonna be too. <laughs> All right, first, how about these life decisions captured by at Tyler Fertig Smith? Oh. 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 <laughs> Panelists, what's the bright side? Ron. Oh, he shows you his red flags up front. Yeah. <laughs> Blair. He's great with commitment. Yes. <laughs> Round again. To be fair, he's actually my son's favorite teacher. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next we've got this safari-like experience from at Sticks and Stones, Inc. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh my God. Is that even a fail? That was just awesome. Yeah. What's the positive takeaway here? Adam. Good breaks? Oh. Yeah. Good job. That's great. Oh my God. Bye. They're shooting a sequel to Jumanji. <laughs> oh Ron my again. What? Uh, that last deer really raised his NFL draft stock. <laughs> Blair. At least Bambi's mom survived this one. <laughs> Blair again. Nobody That's respects funny. Rudolph, but look what happens when they ride without him. <laughs> <laughs> and lastly, from at Samara Curtis, we've got this precocious bundle of joy. My worst nightmare has happened. Coffee, here's a treat. Here. <gasps> Coffee, here's a treat. Look, coffee. See, I would get a dog if it could do that. <laughs> when they're like, you'd feel safer with a dog. I'm always like, can he use a weapon? <laughs> What's the bright side of this? Blair. Somebody get this dog his money or else. <laughs> Ron. He thinks he's people. <laughs> Adam. Uh, it's definitely an English bulldog because it, it wasn't a gun. <laughs> that was good. Ron. Oh, he makes sure he gets pet. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, that's it. Oh, no. Ron is in the lead with 7,800 oh, points. Oh, Blair is in second with 7,100, and Adam is in third with 1,200. Adam, you have the lowest score, which means, sadly, Adam, you must be eliminated. But before you go, we'd like for you to tell us your plans for after the taping is over, in detail, if you will. My plans? Yeah. Well, that depends on what time it is. <laughs> Am I getting out of here after midnight? <laughs> what time after midnight? <laughs> I guess the logical thing would be to assume that time would be 1237. <laughs> is that today or tomorrow? <laughs> I don't know. Thank you so much, Adam. Take care. <laughs> We've come to the final act of our show, which means it's for the win. <laughs> Craigslist is a website where you can advertise and solicit goods and or services, which I love. But sometimes there are weird posts like this one. Hey, I'm looking for baby or young snakes like boa and python and king snake and more. 
Wow, that sounds wholesome and not psychotic at all. <laughs> Panelists, for the win, I want you to write me an unhinged Craigslist ad. After the break, we'll hear your answers, and our studio audience will pick a winner. We'll be right back. 